Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and those who are new, let me tell you, I am Neha and I post uh, videos related to interesting topics of chemistry. So today we are going to discuss about what are adhesives and where are they used. So basically adhesive is any compound which is capable of uniting or bonding two other materials together so that the two materials are joined together. So that particular chemical which is a bonding agent to the substance is known as adhesive. You might have used adhesive in your daily life and now let me tell you when you join two things together these two surfaces are known as etherent. So those two materials which are to be joined with uh, the chemical compound are known as etherent. The compound which you are going to use is but obvious adhesive. The overall process of making this particular product is bonding where you are attaching the adhesive and etherent together. Also this final assembly of two adherents and adhesive is known as bond for joint. Now we haven't cared about this whenever we use adhesive but from now onwards whenever you are joining two papers or two sheets just remember that the sheets which you are using are known as adherent. The fevicol or any kind of adhesive which you are using is basically the compound which is helping them to join and together the assembly is known as bond for joint. Let us go ahead with what are the general characteristics of an ideal adhesive. There are many but I have quoted a very few. First of all, it should make a strong bond between the two adherents. Obviously, it should be able to spread over the surfaces properly. It should not be affected by different uh, parameters like air, heat, moisture, acids, bases, chemicals, anything. Coming to the advantages, again there are a lot many, uh, the applying process is very simple, it can be applied to any material, also the surfaces are easily and quickly attached, uh, by using adhesives you can uh, resist the corrosion of the material, it can be applied to any surfaces and also no high heat is involved in this bonding etc. Coming to the disadvantages, uh, the major disadvantages you may say that the bond strength actually gets affected by some parameters. Uh, let's say if the temperature rises, uh, then if humidity rises, then also uh, the strength uh, decreases and then uh, only plain and clean surfaces are necessary. So if uh, the surfaces are having dust and dirt, they might not get bonded properly. Also, the adhesive strength is comparatively lower than other of the joining methods uh, like welding, riveting, etc. Coming to the factors affecting adhesive action, there are many factors like physical factors and chemical factors. Uh, physical factors like on the top surface, surface tension, porosity, properties of the film, thickness of the film and how are you applying the adhesive. However, chemical factors related to the chemical property of adhesive like that of polar nature, the degree of polymerization, side chains present in it, pH of the medium, etc, etc. So right now I'm not going in detail in this particular thing. Let us go to the classification of adhesives. Uh, the adhesives can be classified on two bases. The first basis is obviously on the basis of principal component like of what material it is made up of and the second is based on the mechanism of adhesion like how does the adhesive work. So let us go ahead with the first one based on the principal component. Now if the major component is natural in nature it would be natural adhesive. If the major component is synthetic in nature obviously it would be synthetic adhesive. So the first classification is very simple that the adhesive could be natural, adhesive could be synthetic. Coming to the natural one, the available one are nothing uh, but the starch and the protein portions of vegetable, animal, casein and blood albumin. Now uh, vegetable animal if you extract starch or protein portion that is what uh, the adhesive is. Casein is nothing but uh, the protein portion of milk so you extract it from the milk and then you use it and blood albumin is when you extract it from the blood. So these are natural material and but obvious or their strength is not much in comparison to that of synthetic material. Coming to the synthetic material, uh, phenol formaldehyde resin, epoxy resins, UF resins, melamine resins, these are the materials which we synthesize uh, in the laboratory. 
coming to the second one which is based on the mechanism of adhesion like how does the adhesive work now it can work on many parameters like it could chemically react with the adherent it could work when you apply the pressure it could work when uh, a solvent is also added with it or it could work if you heat it properly so let us go ahead by uh, like one by one solvent responsive means it is used in the form of solvent or other components are also added along with it to make it adhesive so like resins which you make they come in solvent responsive adhesives like uf resin it it reacts with the adherent and it forms with bond with the adherent uh, heat selling uh, adhesive uh, they are basically they work when you apply heat so like wax uh, sealing adhesives rubber sealing you might have seen the red seal of the notary they all come in heat sealing when you heat them then only they will work as an adhesive coming to the pressure sensitive adhesive the name itself suggests that they are quite sensitive to the pressure so when you apply the pressure on them then only they will work as an adhesive and tapes are the best example in it now these uh, application could be of two type like permanently adhesive uh, when you are applying pressure and then permanently get it uh, stick to it like foil tapes etc coming to the removable applications where you know masking tapes and bookmark and note papers sticky notes which you use they all are removable so you just append them and then you can remove it also chemically reactive adhesives are like uh, when they react chemically with the uh, compound now adherent like i was saying uf resin actually the example comes here uf resin uh, reacts with the compound uh, let's say if you have adherent here and you apply the uh, adhesive uf resin here what it will do it will make bond with this it will make bond with this uh, uf resin do have a carbon monox uh, like this brand nch2 nch2 this kind of linkage is present in the structure right it has c double bond o in the structure so what happens is that oxygen forms a hydrogen bond with the adherent so this is how it reacts uh, chemically with the adherent and it helps in it uh, making itself as an adhesive now let us go with the application part because we have seen that the adhesive is of two types uh, natural and synthetic right now let us go ahead with the application there are many i have quoted very few if you go into electrical uh, thing it is used in uh, making pcbs and casting the electronic parts and seal etc then if you go in aerospace uh, they are uh, used widely in each and every portion of uh, the aircraft i have just used a blurred image here Uh, just to you know disable the brand names written here but you could locate the part where adhesives can be used then mechanical engineering and marine engineering again in boats different parts are to be stick together and so is with mechanical engineering when we want to have an option other than welding uh, screwing and riveting we always use adhesives then coming to the computer uh, they are uh, used in different parts of the computer as you can see here also to stack the chips together it is used then in civil engineering the examples are lot many uh, normally waterproofing membranes are used in making concretes the adhesives are used mortars are used along with it uh, in steel fixing uh, you may see steel fixing industrial flooring or uh, the pipes etc everywhere uh, adhesive is used coming to automobile feeds uh, in bmw or other automobiles where bolts and welds are to be added they are also you may use then in medical science uh, you have adhesive bandages hospital equipments and lot many in medical science everywhere we use that removable tape uh, to get the things attached right uh, then other applications like that in jewelry making then uh, seal plastic containers or poly bags then you have book binding hot glue gun is the uh, recent adhesive which normally kids also use in their uh, craft material then you have glass bottle labels etc etc so with that i have come to the end of the presentation if you have uh, liked it please hit on like and do subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you so much